Everybody Boo here! The February leaks have arrived. This time it was a collaboration between the usual suspects of Luke and Theravin, or Theer Even. I am probably butchering your name, but anyways, thank you both so much for doing all the data mining and posting the wonderful images online so that the community at large can benefit from knowing what is coming and therefore allocating their resources accordingly in order to maximize the efficiency of procuring all the wonderful goodies that are coming our way and possibly, potentially, if RNG favors, omitting all the stuff that is not so high value. Anyways, we do not have the images for the actual event, but it is going to be the same as the sweet gift event from February 2020, which happened on the Japanese server. So uh, you can easily uh, check out that stuff. It is, of course, on the wiki if you want to see what the missions and all the, you know, different quests and things that you have to complete. You can certainly take a look there and see what is coming your way. But for the most part, it's always going to be the same, guys. You're going to follow a little route around the map. You're going to clear certain chain lengths. You're going to pop certain types of colored some make magic bubbles, all the usual stuff. It never changes. If there's one thing this game does is consistently push out the same content over and over and over again with a slight reskin here and there. And that brings us to the five brand new Tum Tum, <laughs> uh, brand new Tum Tum, that's right, that we are getting this month of February. It is of course gonna be princesses, the charm type. So, you know, reskins for Rapunzel, Ariel, Jasmine, we got Raja here who clears a horizontal line of Tsum Tsum. I bet you've never seen one of those before, right? Uh, Ariel, magic bubbles appear at random, of course. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a center clearer in there. Jasmine clears Tsum Tsum at random. I actually happen to have a bias about this one. I like Tsum Tsum like that, like Lumiere, for example, and Belle. She has to come in and be the horizontal clear. We gotta have a horizontal and a vertical clear every single time. Oh, and look, Rapunzel is in fact the center clear. We have the whole cast here, guys. So I'm gonna cut straight to the chase as far as the new Tsum Tsum are concerned. In my personal opinion, February is going to be much uh, of a filler month, really. A save your coin type of month. None of these Tsum Tsum are going to be game breaking. None of these Tsum Tsum are going to be necessarily top 10 coin earners. There's going to be a couple that are decent and could potentially breach the lower uh, ranks and kind of be on par with some of like the say rank eight and nine coin earners in the game. Uh, but they don't bring anything particularly special. They don't have any interesting mechanics or tricks and or multipliers that will elevate them to like say a top three position. And as far as that is concerned, again, I think February is going to be a little bit of a dud month. Unless, of course, you are a collector and you're looking to add every single one of these to your collection. In which case, if you have unlimited resources, congratulations. And if you don't, good luck. I hope you get everything that you are after. Uh, the savings continue further <laughs> when we look at the select boxes and the capsules because there's nothing particularly interesting in either of those categories as well. If we look at this particular select box on screen right now, you will see that we have Moana, Young Elsa, and Cinderella. Those are very good value. As you guys know, the classic Cinderella is in fact the best score in the game by far, no competition because of ease of use. And of course, ultimately, the results that you can expect. Um, I do have a video, which was the Christmas special from a couple of years ago, uh, where we did a half an hour plus long Cinderella game, where we ended up with 130 million score or whatever. Feel free to check it out. Uh, so Cinderella is definitely gonna be the best score in the game for you. If you need copies of her, that is the box you can target. Moana, without a doubt, is the best score bubble generating Tum Tum in the game. You could probably get about 160 score bubbles per game with Moana. So if you're looking for somebody to generate a ridiculous amount of score bubbles for you for event missions and bingo cards, which by the way, it looks like we are getting a new bingo card 
in February. Uh, definitely Moana is going to do that job for you. Of course, there's a bunch of other princesses in that box. The whole theme for February is going to be princesses. Uh, so feel free to check those out. If you've been pining for any one of them, uh, you know, by all means, go for it. But as far as the overall value in the box, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Horse Riding Sophia is, of course, an incredible coin earner. And you also have the original Jasmine in that select the box which is quite good for beginners um i don't imagine there's that many beginners still watching the videos and stuff for this game at least on my channel but if you are very new to the game the original jasmine is very easy to play charges very quickly just a strict horizontal clear nothing fancy but you will get the job done and she will introduce you to the mechanics of the game and help build up your skill set from there. So that's why I generally always recommend a Jasmine as my beginner friendly Tsum Tsum. The other select box, well, this one, I don't know if the value is quite as strong. I mean, Horse Riding Sophia is fantastic. Do we have an equally good coin earner on this side? No, we don't. We have the fairies, which were mostly horrible. You know, we have Jack Sparrow in there, who's actually quite fun and can be a decent coin earner. Uh, with all said and done, after many, many years of getting new Tum Tum, I'd probably rank him in like the 65th, 70th percentile as far as coin earnings are concerned. Crush is in there and he can be quite good if you are going to make use of gyro and abuse all of those gyro tricks with the vertical clears. Other than that, I think this box is kind of a dud for the most part. Uh, Judy Hobbs is decent, but that one does require a little bit of skill and the timing is very, very important for that Tsum to maximize its potential. Uh, if you have any questions about any of that, I certainly have a video on it. I probably have a video on everything that you would ever need to know ever about this game. So if you have a question, ask it in the comment section below. And if a video exists, check it out. And if you haven't found it, I will probably point you in the right direction because it is out there. Uh, as far as the capsules are concerned, well, as you guys know, uh, in times like these where value is hard to be found just about anywhere in the February event and or new some, some that we're getting, uh, I generally recommend the capsules just because you get a skill ticket for buying them out. And in this case, there are a couple Tsum Tsum in there that I particularly like. Salazar is going to be the number one in this one. Unfortunately, he is joined by other less worthy Tsum Tsum, so it is a bit of a tough pill to swallow. Uh, but this other capsule has Space Ranger Bar uh, Buzz, which is one of the funner Tsum Tsum to play in the game. There's certainly more value to be had because you also have Davy Jones. Jetpack Alien is quite good for what he does. And Maximus is a super fast charging uh, bunny type character that will give you a very, very good skill usage for those missions and everything where you need to use a, a certain skill like 20 times in one game. He can do that. And Jetpack Alien can be a very good time bubble generator because he basically turns the entire screen into Jetpack Aliens, which makes it very easy for you to make 9 to 16 chains. And also, if you need to clear a ridiculous amount of green Tsum Tsum for whatever reason, he's also going to be able to do that for you. So, as far as the value is concerned for capsules, uh, of course, this one on screen right now is going to be lesser value because there's not that many good Tsum Tsum in there. And this one is, of course, going to be the higher value. The one with Space Ranger Buzz, Maximus, Davy, and Jetpack Alien. Higher value, but both will give you a skill ticket if you clean them out. So, as I always beat this horse in every video, uh, skill tickets are by far the most valuable currency in the game as they allow you to target a single Tsum Tsum worth of skill to any Tsum in the game that you currently own. So if you have a top 10 Tsum Tsum, uh, you can certainly use those skill tickets to boost them up to another power level. Now, as far as using the skill tickets, there is one thing that I generally don't mention, but I probably should now uh, after many, many years. But if you don't have enough skill tickets to get say Jedi Luke, for example, from skill four to five or five to six, don't use the skill tickets quite yet. 
only use them when you can gain a full skill level with the skill tickets. It's not worth using them otherwise because they are very hard to acquire and you never know when a more powerful Tumtum is going to be introduced into the game and then you're going to wish you had you know 20 of those skill tickets to get that new more powerful Tumtum up to skill level 4 or 5 or whatever but you decided to invest 20 to try and get one particular Tumtum from skill 5 to 6 but you didn't even get that to skill 6 because you needed 24 skill tickets to get them to skill 6 and now you're out 20 skill tickets you can't level up the new one and you also didn't get the old one to scale six so you know where you know where i'm going with this you know obviously with the leaks we kind of know what's coming so hopefully that is another reason to kind of watch this and uh it helps you prevent getting trapped like that but you know if, if you can't get a full skill level from the skill tickets don't use them just hold on to them and make sure you get absolutely maximum value from that so there you guys go february event five new tum tum it's going to be princesses it's going to be mostly a uh, reskin i don't even know if i'm going to do skill three videos for these because honestly i don't think it's worth it i might just go straight to skill six or if you prefer i can do it in reverse i can do the skill three videos and not the skill six because generally speaking you can kind of yeah, so what's going to happen at skill 6, but you might want to know what their performance is like at the lower skill levels for those of you that can't, you know, just straight up buy everything. So, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys prefer, and we'll go from there. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As you guys know, I appreciate all your likes, your subs, your viewership, everything. I wish you all the best with getting everything that you want out of the February Tum Tum and event. And most importantly, I hope you guys... Uh, stay healthy, you know, stay safe. We're still in the middle of the whole pandemic thing. So I wish you guys all the best as always. I'll see you next time. Peace out.